the boys now they when they want to tease me they tell me um who where are those players that used to play with yobo they should retire they are old <laughs> you know and we just laugh and laugh about it Hi, my name is Kenneth Omero, CD Leganes, and the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Now, it's something I've always wanted to do, me and my brothers. Um, we, we play in, in the school, we play, you know, in the streets, but I always wanted to do extra. Like, I go out, go to a far distance to you know, to try to get into the FCT team, you know, but at one point my dad stopped me because, you know, when you see a lot of players that you call a senior, senior man, and you see them, they are not, they are still where they are. Your, your, your parents wouldn't want you to end up like them. So the, the main thing for my parents was, you have to go to school, you have to take your school serious. And, you know, I was, trying to combine both and um, it was working out uh, I went to to Joss I was in Joss for a while and then I had the the under 17 uh, doing an open trial so I was like okay um, I came went to the trials and that was it that was how it happened and to be honest I felt I was just in to complete the team you know just uh, to go pre-season because I was playing in Holland and I got the call up when I was you know thinking of going back home to see the family to see my girlfriend you know <laughs> the call up was like for me it was a distraction because I needed that holiday because I haven't been to Nigeria for a while but um, I also felt proud because um, I didn't expect to get the call up that early in my career. I was thinking, uh, now I've played the under 20, I'm going to try to play in the under 23 squad, you know, and then I get a call up to the Super Eagles. So I felt, <clears throat> I felt proud, I felt honored, but at the same time, I, I, was, I, I never knew I would even make the list to, to go to the national squad. <laughs> Spanish league is, is amazing, you know, I think I think I found a place where I can play comfortably, you know, but the good thing is my coach understands English and speaks very well. Um, if I stay, I will have to do more to learn Spanish, you know, but for now I'm on loan and I don't, my priority is actually to, to keep improving in every game because I've done very well you know i'm proud of how far i've come even when you know people thought we've seen the last of him <laughs> you know but uh i i worked hard i i kept my head straight but now i even need to work harder because it's it's important how i finish the league not just how i start because people tend to forget you know the start of the season and they focus on the end so I have to finish very well to ensure I get a permanent uh, place next year. No, I'm, I'm fine because I get to go out and play. You know, a lot of boys stay back and stay on the bench and wait for someone to be injured but at the end of the season you end up playing five games if not less. You know, I, I didn't want that. I wanted to be playing so I can also at least um, fight to come to the national team. So Chelsea have done great for me, you know, when they gave me the opportunity, I, I didn't believe it, you know, and um, that has helped me and I'm playing and now I'm playing in La Liga. I want to stay, you know, I want to stay in Spain, but right now the club needs to pay. You know, and uh, sometimes I'll reach an agreement with Chelsea, and I know they are working towards it. I've I've seen the the importance of playing where Nigerians can watch. You know, it tells that you know they can see me week in and week out and know what's happening and know how 
improved my game has has been so yeah i want to stay in spain uh, maybe a bigger club or in Leganes, you know but i think this year should be the year where i say you know what i need i need a home i need to stay because my baby don't they grow <laughs> Having, having gotten married to my wife, uh, I've known her for many years. She, she, she's still that amazing woman, you know, and uh, giving me, though she gave birth to a baby that looks like, exactly like her, which uh, I'm still complaining about, but, <laughs> you know, she's, uh, she's amazing. I, I love her so much and I'm still praying that something changes in her face and she starts to look a little bit like me but <laughs> you know um, yeah it's been amazing and i miss them so much i can't wait to go back yeah i do i do and it's thanks to god um it's thanks you know to my family they never put pressure on me not one day um, my mom always prays for me. She used to, you know, close our shop, come watch our local games. It's one of the reasons why I'm happy because now I'm playing in the La Liga and she gets to watch it every week because she, she loves football and, you know, she's my number one fan. A little bit, uh, he did uh, most of the job, you know, I only spoke to my club to say um, I have a brother, he's good, because I know he's good, um, and they say, okay, if he's that good, he will come for a two weeks trials with the second team, so I said, okay, I arranged for him to come, and he, he came and he did well, and that was how he got, he got signed. I felt for my wife, you know, because uh, she wasn't used to it, you know, she wasn't, and at that point Nigerians were looking for something to happen and, you know, the, the fact of the matter is I spoke to JJ and he, he hasn't even seen what was happening or anything and he understood because he used to play, you know, and he said to me, I, I didn't say it's your fault, but, you know, people pick out stuff and all that and I'm happy it's in the past now but it was difficult for her to to move on with that you know and um, I get a lot of critics but I don't respond if I just block you so you don't have the opportunity to say it back to me you know now she understands it better she's um, she's stronger you know <laughs> she's stronger now and um, but that period was was difficult because um, she was upset she was in the stadium you know she saw everything that happened she was already thinking oh my husband will be sad the whole of today you know and then someone tags her to say um look at what they said your husband did and she you know reacted out of her feelings it's in the past now but sometimes we talk about it and just laugh over it It's funny, but I've loved Joseph Yobo. You know, I've um, watched him play. <laughs> when I was invited to the same uh, team as him, I was like, <laughs> it was important for me that period, you know, because I watch him give everything in training and who am I to make an excuse, you know? Who am I to say I'm, I'm tired, I can't run anymore. When you see the captain running and doing all the, everything that's, that's you know, that the coach um, tells us to do, you know, and he has, he has been an inspiration. He has encouraged me during the Nations Cup, during the World Cup as well. We, we had a, a very good uh, rhythm together, you know, and he's an amazing person. No, I don't. I think more of, I don't want to consider gold than, you know, going to school, but of course I would love to score for Nigeria. <music> to play all the games and to win it again. Not... 
I will say to work hard, don't be afraid to to go out and you know go to trials, go to these Nigerian league clubs if you know you're good enough. You, you know, a lot of people do the mistake of traveling. Some of them get duped. They, you know, a lot of people they sell the parents sell the land that maybe they've been keeping for years just to sponsor a trip and it ends up not happening and some actually happens but when you when they get there it doesn't work they feel they can't come back and then they are stuck they are suffering but the the, the family doesn't know you know i know a lot of people when i was in turkey that i go i train with them i encourage them <clears throat> but since I'm not there, you know, I know how difficult it has been and I know how many people message me. And this is one thing I thank my family for because they've never put pressure on me. My mom will always say to me, if you go and it doesn't work, work out, come back. You know, we might not have money, but we have food to eat, you know. So this is important. Um, I would advise them to be patient and any deal that will work out, I don't think they will, it will require you to pay any amount of money. You know, it will be done by the club or by the agent because the agents know if it works out, they will get their money back. You know, so just keep working hard, be prayerful, listening to your mom, especially. I'm not saying that's are not <laughs> important, but you know, moms have the key. I want to say I I love them. Um, I see their comments on my post and and I thank them so much for the for the support and um, you know I'll keep giving my best. I'll keep giving everything. I've not even gotten to half of where I want to get to. You know and and I know it's only hard work and prayers that will lead me there. My name is Kenneth Omero, CD Leganes of Spain and the Super Eagles of Nigeria. Keep watching Niger Footballers.